Hello, welcome to Midnight Messages. My name is Stacy, and I will be doing a tarot reading for the Libra Collective. So as you can see, I'm slowly bringing down other stuff and I'm integrating stuff into my readings. I always have to have a drink nearby when I do my readings for you guys because you have to replenish that energy and part of it is water, liquids, liquides. Hmm. Are you waiting on a message, Libra? What I tell you guys about waiting for people... Oh yeah, you're waiting on a message about the beginning. You know that you have options, but you're choosing. So, yeah, you're choosing to wait for a new beginning because you're closing out old cycles. You may be in a codependent relationship or dealing with your own vices and or addictions. These things happen, Libra. They happen. It's okay. Do not blame yourself or anyone else for that fact. Like, if you see a bunch of jumps, it's because there are like minutes where I'm not talking and I'm just fixing the cards and stuff. And you guys don't tend to um, want to see me fixing the cards so I cut those parts out so what's going on with Libra so it's looking like you have been having to fight for justice in your life recently and you have been dealing with your own shadow your own devil um, basically you have a codependent nature and or you are dealing with your own addictions. Um, you're putting an end to these things, which is great. I am so happy that you are noticing what is toxic for you in your life and you're ending it. That is awesome, Libra. Like, for real, kudos to you. Now let's see what else you got going on. If you hear me sniffling a lot, I just got a cat like a month ago and I am actually allergic to cats, but I love animals and well, they make me sniffle. I love my Lilith and she's going to have babies too because when we got her, she was pregos. That's the prego kitty you keep seeing. inadvertently getting on camera and mewing and just being Lilith. Okay, so Libra You have found your passion, which has given you the, the courage to heal yourself from a guilt that you've been feeling about wanting to just do nothing and step into your awareness and, and learn your creativity, follow your passions and your dreams. You've been feeling torn in two about a situation that you want to be the fool about. Um, but in the same breath because you're torn in two yeah maybe you're torn into about a love situation that's uh that's a possibility and the fact that you have been torn in two over this situation means that the current situation that you may be going through is not your dream it's not what you want so you are having to 
be the fool, step out of your comfort zone. Slow down a little bit, slow that intensity down. Slow that, that quick moving passion down. Find your courage to heal yourself from the guilt that you feel over wanting to do nothing. And you have the awareness and creativity to follow your dreams. And if you do that, you're beginning something completely new. And you'll get where you need to go. You're also manifesting a new beginning in love. Chemistry, C, yep, intensity, chemistry, passion. <sighs> Finance and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Chemistry, there is a strong magnetic attraction here. So, you, yeah, that's a lot. All right, hold on. I'm going to go for the upside down ones for some reason. And then I'm just going to show you guys these. Free yourself. Stay. It's time to take back control of your life. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking. And faith will bring you romance, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept the support from others. You're calling in a soulmate, your soulmate. Your prayers, actions, affirmations, visualizations help you help bring you and your soulmate together. Makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. And you deserve love. But that's this whole thing. Oh, I see. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more attractive romantically. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, see, see your healing. You're healing from anything that caused you pain, harm, trauma, anything that didn't serve a purpose in your life, anything that was toxic, maybe a narcissistic um, partner, not here to diagnose, just here to tell a story. Um, yeah, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Then we have engagement, wedding, and very soon. All of these are timing cards right here. And this is telling me that either the relationship that you are in is a soulmate, soul bond, or the very next one, very soon, you're going to find your, how do I say it, your, your partner, your, your person. You're going to find the person that you're meant to travel through this life with. And when you do, you're, it's going to, it's going to smack you because you're in the process of healing when this person shows up, which is partially why I think you feel guilty because you're healing. This person shows up and you can't give them your undivided attention. You can't give them, um, 100% of you. So you feel guilty about even 
wanting to to be around them essentially you feel guilty about wanting to even know this person and, and because you feel that way because you feel guilty for wanting to even to for even wanting to get to know this person you're looking for someone to tell you it's okay, but here's the thing. The per the only person that can tell you whether or not it's okay is you. If it doesn't feel right, then don't do it. If you're aware and it feels right and it's passionate and you're a little bit out of your comfort zone, but... You're not going so fast that it feels threatening. Step into the unknown. That nothingness where you're aware of your creativity and the dream that you're following. Step into that unknown area where anything is possible. Step into that place. Look at the bigger picture. A new start is coming. Don't let your past hold you back. The energy is gaining momentum. Be bold and make the first move. Ooh, spicy. One more. And thank you, exactly one. Thank you for that. Um, luck is on your side. Yeah, see? You may have to make a couple adjustments to get to where you're headed. But this, this, this is a lifetime relationship. That's where you're headed. You may be at, being asked by spirit to make the first move because the other person is kind of in the same space they're healing and you notice them before they notice you so when you make the first move they're like oh yeah I do like you too and they realize that they've been falling in love with you at the same time but work on that work on that devil work on Whatever it is that you're addicted to, it could even be an emotion. Work on that. Work on your healing. Because once you have the courage to heal from the things that are causing you guilt and shame and, and pain and sadness. Once you have the courage to heal all of that. You're stepping into a better brighter future for yourself it's like you're stepping into your best life you're leaving behind all of that pain all of that sadness all of that fear doubt anger frustration all of it you're leaving it behind and you're stepping into a new future filled with love prosperity abundance hope faith Joy, happiness, bliss, harmony, peace, growth. You're stepping into your growth era. You're stepping into your love era. You're stepping into your abundance era. That is where you're going. You're headed to a place where... You're divinely protected, so luck is on your side. It's not even luck is on your side. The divine is on your side. So that means that it looks like luck is on your side because the divine is kind of clearing the way for you. So it looks like you're lucky, but in all reality, the divine is working with you to create this beautiful, abundant future. So it looks like you're lucky. It looks like you didn't have to work for it, but you've been behind the scenes or you've been working on it for years. Then the door I was like, here's the path. Now, 
and you are following it and you've been following it and now the path has opened up and new doors are opening for you which is going to pave the way for a new beginning in love career finance romance all of it all of it you may even be moving but a new start a new start is coming and if you did know this person they are going to be completely different when you meet them this time so be prepared they're not going to be the same way that they were in the past so you may be in for a little bit of a shock if this is a past person that they're saying hey be bold make the first move towards um yeah they're not going to be the same they were having new beginnings too but you're aware you know what your dream is you know where your passion lies you know where you're headed you just don't know with who yet <laughs> yeah and your devil likes to play around and make you feel unworthy and when you let the devil play around like that and make you feel unworthy it just does all kinds of crap to your mind and when your mind is overwhelmed, overworked, um, burdened like that. There is not much that you can do to calm it down other than be aware that this is happening. Understand that your mind is not essentially your spirit. Your mind is not you. Your mind thinks thoughts. Who's thinking the thoughts? Is it you? Is it your spirit? Cause someone has to think the thoughts. But your mind is thoughts. And you have the control on what thoughts your mind is thinking. You can stop the, the bad negative spirals. You can stop those spirals. It may be hard. I'm not saying it's going to be easy. I'm not saying you can even learn how to do this overnight. It takes work. It takes awareness. It even takes creativity and slowing down and noticing exactly who you are. It takes learning about your shadows, your devils, your demons, your past. And it takes letting it go. It takes knowing yourself fully and having that unconditional love for yourself. To say, hey, I'm willing to confront these inner demons, these past hurts, these past traumas. And I want to heal. So instead of coming at yourself and hurting yourself, you're essentially going to need to go within and meet your inner child come together with your inner child protect her or him you are protected by the divine you always were you know this you always were you always were you always will be and and 
And unless you do something so egregious that goes against divine code of being, you will always be protected by the divine. That's just, that's, that's your life. That is what it is. Now, you may also be protected by fairies. <laughs> and your manifestations and wishes are coming true at a very quick rate. So, wish wisely. What you think right now is being materialized and manifested into your reality. What you think is what is happening. If you think negative thoughts, you're going to see negative and more negative, and it's going to pile on and you're going to get an abundance of negative things. The things that you're thinking about, you're going to get an abundance of. This is why I tell people, don't go looking for things that you don't want to find because you're going to find them. Don't go looking for things that you're not willing to find and confront because you will find those things that you're looking for and then some. Because the universe is an abundant universe. The universe has more than enough to provide for her children. The universe is abundant in all ways. It's us who manifest lack into our lives. I can't say that we manifest certain things into our lives because no one manifests being abused as a child. No one manifests being abused at any age. No one manifests abuse, neglect, torture, torment, no one manifests those things unless you're a horrible person and those things are being done on you because you hurt someone's family or something along those lines. We do not manifest these things into our life. That is where ancestral karma comes into play. And world karma. And those things. Bad things happen, yes. Karma is real. Yes. Bad things happen to good people. Yes. But past karma catches up to souls. Karma is attracted to souls, not beings right now. You're a human right now. But you could have been on another planet before you were here. Your soul could have lived on multiple universes. You, you don't know where your soul is from. Unless you have the key to the Akashic Records. And even if you say you have a key to the Akashic Records, I'm not so sure I believe you. Because if you do, you have to be an ascended master and then some. So, I, I'm i just saying. Just saying. If you have a key to the Akashic Records, let me know. Because I would like to know what I did in a past life to deserve the, the pain and suffering that I've been through in this one. Because... I know karma done kicked my ass. I had so many lessons to learn in this life. And it looks like you have, you've been learning your lessons, you're healing. You've been learning your lessons and you're healing. And it's great. It is so great to see that. That your courage is coming back. That you're taking a step out of your comfort zone. That you are opening up to people and you're opening up to that awareness and creativity. And you're dreaming again. You may have times when you are split in your decision making. And that's okay. You're human. It's okay. If you stayed down for the ride and you caught my vibe and you want to join my tribe, please subscribe, like, share, comment, do your thing. As always, I love you and peace.